Testing, testing, sound check. App, Mary. Clock, type. currently eight I'm in and there isn't no there isn't anybody logged in yet Anybody there? Arabella, who are you? Alida, hello. Hello. How are you today? Tired. Tired? Really? A long day at work? Uh, yes. Oh, I, I imagine, yeah. Yeah, well, well, thank God you're here. Thank God you made it. So, what do you do, Alida? What's your job? I design. Oh, you're a designer. For, for, um, All right. Oops, you, you're breaking up. Your audio is breaking up. Hello, Claudia and uh, Camila. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good. All right. Good. That's great. It's good to hear you one more time. Uh, today, we will continue working with, um, with uh, product testing, vocabulary. We'll also check on... Uh, some uh, cruelty-free types of uh, product testing. So, uh, so we will will check on 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 that too. It's it's important to to know about uh, cruelty-free materials. That's that's uh, that's a good thing to learn about as well. So we'll review that vocabulary. All right, good. So I'm I'm glad you you girls and uh, hopefully boys are here. All right, Iris is back. It's good to have you again. So, um, so now let's begin with uh, with this. Let's recall 
let's recall uh, the different types of product testing we reviewed in the last class. All right, so here we have a, here we have some. Let's see if we remember these ones. Okay, let's share screen. Here we go. So, uh, all right, does anybody remember what is a site and handle test? Do you remember that? What is a site and handle test? Anybody? Site and handling test. What is that about? What is that about? Oh, uh, we... You remember about tactile and visual information? So what do you remember about uh, this type of testing? So today we'll probably uh, check on it more carefully, all right? Sight and handling test, which one do you think it is or how does this work? Anybody? So what type of products do you think we use? with this one. I guess that site and handling test is uh, this one. All right, let me use my annotate tool. And uh, let's use text, you know, just to remember. All right. One second. All right, let's see who else is here. All right, good. So uh, this type of testing, the one I was telling you about, site and handle, the way we do this is very simple. It's an option when there are significant tactile and uh, visual elements of the product, okay, for customers to experience. So let me ask you here, what type of uh, what type of products can we test using this type of product testing? Any ideas? What type of products can you test through site and handling test? Anybody? We need look. We need. Uh, visual or is uh, significant tactile or visual elements so what kind of products have this have uh, a lot of uh, visual and tactile information like you know physical cell phone, maybe. yes cell phones a cell phone yeah all right good good let's let's keep brainstorming and please Help me gathering ideas. You can also type your ideas in the chat. Good. So a cell phone is a is a is a good is a good idea to test through sight and handle. Okay, like it. Hey, any other any other uh, products that we can test through uh, through sight and handle? You know, remember he has to. It's about visuals. It's about visual uh, elements and tactile elements, like things that you can touch. What else can I touch? Can I can I test like this? Another product that I can test in these in this way. Aries gave a good idea. A cell phone. Yeah, that's certainly a good idea. That's, uh, Be beds. Yeah, beds, because. Why, why do you think so, Jonathan? Why beds uh, can be tested this way? Why do you, do, uh, why, uh, you need to uh, test the, uh, the softly, is it softly, is... Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. 
That's that's great. So Jonathan just said bed. Yeah, certainly. Bed because they have to be comfortable, right? So you have to test a bed's com uh, comfortability. Ability. Everybody say comfortability. 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 Yes. Yes, and you pronounce it like this, comfortability, all right, comfortability. So you do not pronounce comfortability, but you say comfortability, all right, comfortability or comfortability. Yep, yeah. so uh, we, we need to test the comfortability, so we have to, what, how would you, who would like to test the bedding here? Anybody who would like to test a bed here? I would do, I would love to. Yeah, a great idea. What's your job? Just lie down Ooh, and wait. And if it's comfortable, it passes the test. But if it's not, it doesn't. Hey, any other product that we can test through, through, uh, through this, uh, through sight and handle, any other product that requires, a, uh, that has a lot of visual and tactile information. Oh. Oh, please, anybody? Anybody? Any one of food? Food. Yeah, why that is that is a great idea. Now, why do you think so? Any food products? Why? Because the customer um, know the flower, flower, flower. Uh, a flavor, you mean? Flavor, flavor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the flavor. So the customer, home appliances, definitely, Jonathan. Yeah. So the customer tastes. He tastes the flavor of the product, right? Uh, do you think, do you agree with this? Does, uh, does food, uh, does food, let me see, does the appearance, all right, let's put it that way, the appearance of food matter to you? Does the appearance of food matter to you? Like, uh, for example, you see this big, juicy hamburger. Do you, do you buy that? If you see this big, juicy hamburger first, or do you, uh, do you, do you prefer not to buy something that doesn't look very high, very, uh, very tidy? Like some people, if, if say, if they see a, a dish that looks messy, they don't buy it. So some people don't try like international food because it doesn't look delicious. What about you? Does, does the appearance of food matter to you? I yes. think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Why, Claudia? Because. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So the appearance, right? The appearance matters, right? Appearance matters to you. All right, good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Does anybody uh, want to share about that? Do you first look at food and then eat it, or you just don't care how it looks like and then you and you eat it? I think it's it's important too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, yeah. no, it's okay. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> All right. So you you agree you agree that it is important to to take uh to look at the appearance first. So yeah, as Claudia as a uh, as do teacher. Yeah, you agree too. Okay. So uh, can you tell me about a food that you saw? 
and you didn't like how it looked like, so you didn't buy it. Do you remember any example? Mm. I remember um, in, maybe a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. I went to Super Selectos yes. and I want to uh, buy a bandeja of sushi. I don't know, how do you say? Uh, a tray of sushi? A tray of sushi, but this looked like green and with boulder and uh, insane. Okay. And this is how I don't buy it. Okay, and that's why you didn't buy it. All right. Uh, it, it was actually a good idea not to buy it, especially <laughs> yes. if it's fish. Yes. Because fish can be very harmful if it's not in good conditions. Yeah. I think, think I think the green uh, thing in the sushi was guacamole or, or something oh. like that. But it looked so gross. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It didn't look good. No, no, no. So was it in every row of sushi or it was a little green thing aside? No, in, in every single one sushi, look a piece of uh, green or uh, okay. pasta. Piece okay. of green, I think, is was uh, avocado. All right, yeah, it, might, it must have been avocado, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But it didn't look, it didn't look appealing. All right, avocado, and uh, memor memorize this word, appealing. What is appealing? Appealing is it's similar to. Does anybody know? Appealing, no. All right, so it's all right. So for example, uh, for example, uh, you look at that big pollo bonanza, at that roasted chicken, juicy and, uh, and tender. It looks so, it, it's very appealing to your eye. It's appealing to your eye. Also, well, I don't know what's appealing to women. Some women find an appealing uh, find uh, a muscular man appealing to their eye, okay? And uh, to us, we have different tastes as well. We, we like different types of women too. So to us, sometimes a woman with beautiful feet is appealing to us, okay? So what does appealing mean? Anybody? Anybody? Appealing means probably something that is attractive okay appealing means attractive so we it comes through your eyes first it goes through your eyes first hey good so that was as to this type of testing the the sight and handling so if we have a lot of uh, a lot of um, a lot of visual information we use it visual and the uh, physical or tactile information. Great. Um, then we also have the use test. Okay. So uh, do you remember which of these definitions is the use test? I think is uh, number three. Customer takes the product right. and be used either as a sample or I think it's is that. Uh -huh. it, yes, it, it makes it makes sense. So this one, right? Uh -huh. This yes. one is uh, is the one, yeah. So here, uh, the customer uses the product, um, probably for a sample, you know, just for no number number one or oh. not. Consumers use site. No, no, no. Uh, two, you two. You put uh -huh. yeah, oh. yeah, I got. Uh, yes, two, two. My bad. All right, let's erase. Let's erase. Let's undo this. Goodbye. All right. So I'll be number two, yeah. So 
that would be the one. So you can take it home, try it, and see and see how the how it works. So, uh, what kinds of uh, products do you think we can uh, test with these with this option? I think when you uh, buy a product, for example, I don't know, maybe a cell phone or or a computer, and you use the um, the things. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So something like that. Okay. Well. All right. We'll we'll keep on check checking on that one. All right. Then uh, we also have a branded test. I have I have an experience. Yes, with tell us, please. A test with um, um, cleaning for the the toilets. All right. It's a, a system for cleaning of the toilets. The company put for a month free. You use if you um, like it you can uh, buy All right. some service. Okay, interesting. So if you like it, you buy it, right? Yeah. And what, it was a, it was a, like a, you said a bathroom cleaner, right? Yes, it's a system uh, with the, in the bathroom and in the, um, the restroom uh, for, for smell. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, I see. I see what you mean. All right. So it's an other, other system, I guess they call it. I will search for the word too. Other system. I think it will say. Yeah, other system, you know, to control smells, right? Okay, good. Hey, that's, that's a great example. I wanted, I wanted to see if you can mention other examples like this. Like, for example, uh, like, uh, is there any other product that you take home, test it for a few weeks, and then you say you, you have a free trial, a free trial, a free trial, okay? And then if you like it, you start paying for it, or you definitely buy it. Can you think? Like like yes. a Netflix, Netflix, Amazon Prime. This uh, they they have a try a, a free trial All right. for a few days. Okay, yeah, that can be one too. Probably mm -hmm. old programs, right? Old programs and applications have this advantage of you know using it as a sample just for some time, and once you decide. If you like it or not, you pay for it. Uh, do you ever? Did you ever use? Uh, did you ever use the one that tells you uh, to get a free trial the most? Did you ever? Did you ever use YouTube Premium? Ever? Never? Really? No. I have used YouTube Premium, but only for watching Cobra Kai. Then I didn't like it anymore. Yeah, but series are not fun. To be honest, series are not fun in their only Cobra Kai. But it was fun because I had access to lots of music too. All right. So we agree that uh, programs are a good thing to test like this, right? That will be, uh, that'll be, which one? Uh, that'll be this type of testing, right? That would be the one, uh, the use test. So programs, uh, programs, uh, probably air, air condition. Do you think that air condition, uh, air condition? No, probably that requires an installation, right? Air conditioning, probably. And uh, also, Iris's example was very good. Other control products. All right, among others. Great, great, very good. And uh, let's go over a branded test. 
Okay, a branded test. Which one do you think it is? All right, anybody? I think it is a customer are aware of the bound. Okay. They are All right, good. It's better reflect the real work experience and the value of the brand. And the value of the brand. Okay, very good, very good. Hey, what products are tested like this? What products are with, do people test like this? Or have you seen that people test like this? Mm, probably. Maybe the makeup. Makeup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be that'll be one. So consumers are aware of that. So that'll be number three. Makeup, right? So brands of makeup. Any other? Any other idea here? Any other? Uh, a shampoo? Yeah, shampoo. Beauty products in general, right? Uh-huh, yes. Uh, makeup. Makeup and... Uh, wait. A makeup. perfume? Yeah. Perfume, yes. And uh, uh, colognes and, and things like those. Also, uh, we say beauty products in general, right? Beauty products in general yes they all are tested this way because well some are tested this way here because of uh, of uh, some sort of a consumer or or market rules people don't do this but in the states they do uh, they have a, a very aggressive marketing have you seen have you seen that they have a very aggressive marketing have you seen examples of that nope like in yeah. the yes yes i i see um uh, some brand brand yes um, like uh a beers uh likes uh uh, uh apps uh, like um, alibaba aliexpress wish that uh, they they is uh los, los comerciales son constantes yes all right youtube yeah youtube and uh, also what i mean what i mean by this is is also that uh the the marketing is aggressive in the way that it compares <laughs> to another brand but um <clears throat> but they directly say like uh for example uh fedex says uh do not do not uh do not send packages through ups we are faster or some people some also other brands go like uh don't or don't buy a burger king you know buy at mcdonald's because uh, we're better and so and, and so they do this product testing advertising too in which people test their product and the other competitor brand and they say bad things about the competitor all right so in can happen in, in these cases all right but we don't see that much here. Hey, good. Now uh, we have another type of testing. All right, we have another type of testing here. Oh, we also have a blind test. Does anybody remember which one this is? The last one? The last the one. The yes. product are tested on branded. Yes. So the customer focus. See, I, yeah. I, I can see with the, all right. Let's zoom. Ah, uh, all right. All right. Hang on. What, what seems to be the problem? You can see the screen, 
or do you have to zoom? Okay, no, yeah. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the products are tested on branded so the customer focus stri strictly on the product characteristic and not on the brand brand son, brand mm. name. On the brand name. So uh, look, the customer looks at the product and uh, they they don't uh, they don't know the brand. So so products aren't branded. And uh, the fo uh, the consumer focuses on on the product itself, so he is not misled. All right, customer is not misled. O sea, el cliente no se deja llevar por las apariencias o por la marca. Uh, do you guys do you guys care about the brand? Who cares about the brand here? Please. Uh, say yes if you care about the brand. Say yes. yes in the chat also. Say yes and I'll ask some of the yeses and some of the no. Do you care about the brand? Question goes here. Do you care about brand labels? Do you care about brand labels? Please answer, be honest. Yes. All right. Claudia says sometimes. Sa uh, Samuel says uh, yes. Okay. Jose says yes. All right. The majority of you care about the brand. Some people don't. Okay. Some people don't. Claudia says sometimes. All right. So let's ask uh, Samuel. All right. Samuel, why do you care about uh, why do you care about the brand? Why is the brand important to you? Um, an example, if uh, sh shampoo, okay, um, and perfume. Oh, okay, and uh, why? What is your favorite shampoo brand? Um, uh, uh, so, me he olvidado el nombre. <laughs> okay. Lo uh, um, so, you pero, uh, so you don't care about the brand then? Uh, okay to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but, but you know it. You know it. And if it's a different one, you don't use it. I mean, me? you you know you know the shampoo. You know yes, 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 yes. You know the label. And if it's head, a, head and shoulders. Excuse me. Oh, oh that's okay. So your head and shoulders. So you yes. don't use any other shampoo but head and shoulders. Yes. All right. Good. All right. So is it because of results? Is it because of the results or it's just because it's head and shoulders? Uh, by the results. Okay. And it's, it's good for All me. Right. All right. Yeah. Good. So, uh, so that that's that's great. All right. Now, uh, yeah. Let's see. Somebody else uh, said yes in here. All right. Somebody else said yes in here. Let's see. Uh, Claudia said uh, said uh, sometimes. Claudia, why? Why do you sometimes care, and why you just don't care at times? Sometimes I prefer brands for the price. Ah, oh, mm. right. Sometimes Good. it depends because about milk for my kids, I just prefer just brand. All right. But for for us, the adults in in my house, we drink whatever. Okay. Milk. Uh -huh. Any type of milk. Oh, and food is important. The brand is, is important. Is important to food, right? But for example, the the food for cook, meat or chicken, 
uh, I prefer some kinds, some types of brands. All right, just some types of brands. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. Yeah, that, that's absolutely fine. Like, for example, some people go to Super Selectors and they don't buy any type of chicken. They buy they say, their mm -hmm. sello de oro, right? Sello de oro, huh? Mm -hmm. Or they, 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 if they want those uh, big pieces, they buy the other one, Selectors Fresh, mm -hmm. I think is the big one. It's bigger, but it doesn't taste so good. So that's, that's it. All mm -hmm. right. So if you care about brands, then uh, probably it's not your type. So we were saying uh, about blind test. That'll be blind test would be number four. Okay, great. So uh, what things can we test through a blind test, guys? What kinds of products can we test through a blind test? Any idea? Maybe, uh, maybe, number uh, five. Wait. Oh yeah, Jesus. It's number five. All right, let's undo. No, 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 number blind test in the line. This uh number five. Wait, 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 wait. I think so. All right, products tested unbranded. So the consumer focuses strictly on products characteristics and not the brand name. So the idea of a blind test is not to see the brand mm. to see. that's why it's called blind no sticker no sticker okay it's the it's the uh it's the plain bottle okay so i will probably say why it's mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. so it's so no sticker here hey what things do you think are good to test this way what kinds of products can we test this way? I think the different brands of colas, Coca Colas. Oh, cola. Uh, big colas. Mm -hmm. All right. Big yeah. Cola soda. All right. Let's say sodas in general, but especially, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but especially colas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. The wines. Wine. Okay, wine. All right, good. Mm. Beers. 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 Mm -hmm. Beers. Yes. But what if uh, if you know water. about beers? <laughs> water. <laughs> water. Christian, no matter the brand. All right. So, maybe, yes. Maybe the uh, for nature, because you you only see the. Uh, the form, the colors, uh, but but is uh, do you know? Do, do you? I don't see the the brand, and only only see the form, the color. This okay. So mm -hmm. furniture, furniture. Yeah, probably it can be. Bo body creams. I don't know how yeah, do you body say. Yeah, body lotion. Yeah, body lotion. Okay. Uh huh. Body lotion. Yeah. So, a women test that, right? They go like, they <laughs> rub some, smell it. Yes. Yes. Say, oh, this is good. I prefer it. Okay. Picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I remember a commercial of uh, a bleach. All right, of a bleach. A type, yes, mm -hmm. uh, in the commercial, there are two, uh, no sé, contenedores. A containers? Uh, and they put uh, clothes with mancha, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, stain. And mm -hmm. uh, with stain and en each no sé, en, en, en un, una ropa en una y otra ropa en el otro. Uh, all right, so, so they, uh -huh. uh, after that, they reveal the, the brand because this brand bleached the stain and the other, no. Uh, and, the, and the other didn't. I think, I think the brand is vanished. 
Yeah, vanish. Vanish is is a is a is a is a very popular product, and that they do that in commercials, right? They test one uh, one type of uh, bleach versus vanish, and then they turn around, right? They turn around the bottle like they have it like this, and then they turn around. It's vanish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, what's the difference between stain and spot? And the uh, spot. Uh, well, a uh, spot usually is a is a very is a very small one. They are pretty much the same. But uh, stains also seem to be like permanent. All right. Okay. They also look look permanent but probably they aren't it's almost the same and they may also be bigger because spot is like a little dot a little one probably okay little dot yes thanks Thank you. thanks for sharing all right thanks for asking hey we are just left with a couple of uh well we have a uh, three more types of testing okay so which ones are those? Which ones are those? The other types of testing left. Let's see which ones are those. We have uh, we have here we have here a uh, monetic test. Mm, what is that about? Does anybody remember what that one? is about monetic test what is that one about the second one the second one uh let's all right in real circumstances and they rate it later all right it, it kind of sounds uh it sounds logical it sounds logical but anybody else what do you guys uh, think about it? Teacher, what's meaning monadic? Uh, monadic. All right. That's a good question. Let's look up in the dictionary just for the very, very definition of monadic. Because to be honest. Yes, it's number two. I think so. Yeah, it looks like that. All right. Monadic. Hang on. There gotta be all right. All right. And what does that mean? Oh funny, huh? So what in general what it means is that is that you know things are used. Let's actually look at the definition and see what that means. Okay. Beats me. Let's let me check on my other dictionary because I have two here. Okay, monetic refers to logic. Okay, so uh, it's about it's about testing. And let me read the definition here. All right, being related to monad. All right, so it has to do with operation. Monadic comes from the word operation. So the idea of a monadic test is make it work. You got it? The idea is to make it work and then you rate it. So is to operate the product and then decide whether it's good or not. All right. So that's that's how we define uh, define the word monadic. All right. That'll be the monadic method, and uh, that'll be number five, I guess. Yes. And then what about number six? Sequential monadic method. All right. Sequential monadic. And method. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So in here, in a monadic one, what we do is test in it, cite and handle it, you know, get the, get the product working. And later, and what we do later is rate in it, rate in it. Do you understand to rate? Rate. We rate it. Do you, under, do you remember the word, uh, the word rate? Do you remember what rate means? Different rango? Oh, yes. All right. All right. So we rate it five stars, like a hotel, right? A five star hotel or a four star hotel. All right. So we rate it. Now, I know, think. Yes. I think it's number um, five. Yeah, the one customers mm -hmm. use a product. Use a uh -huh, use a <laughs> use yeah. a product uh -huh. site and cite it and handle it. They rate it, then they use sign hardly another product. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So the customer doesn't look. This is important. The customer doesn't compare the products at all. So he just uh, he just uh, cite and handles them independently. All right, that's important. Now, what kind of uh, what kind of products do you think we can we can uh, test this way by cite and handle? What kinds of products can we test by site and handle? Any ideas? A food. Food. Okay. Food. All right. By by uh, by this. I'm or sorry. I meant a sequential method. Yeah. Food. Or or drink. Drink. All right. mm. Yeah, let's let's put it here. Let's record it. Food or drinks. By the way, now that you're bringing food, uh, I think a day as a consumer in some restaurants, you do this. You know, you try your product, although you buy it, you try your product, and later uh, you receive a survey. Le manda una encuesta, a survey. They send you mm -hmm. a survey to your phone, okay? And then you rate it, okay? You rate the, uh, the food. You rate everything in there, the promotions and, and the, the deals of the week and so on. So uh, that'll be one. That'll be food and drinks. Okay, great. And finally, we have per comparisons test, all right? Per comparison test. Which is on the top. <laughs> All right, on the top. Yes, it's this one at the top. So that'll be here. And uh, let's read this definition. Uh, let's check on the participants here. Wait. All right, Andrea, can you read the definition of uh, this one, please? Of uh, of Pair comparisons. La primera. Yes, please. Consumers use or sign and handle one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. They prefer, yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, you do all of that, right? And... Uh, you decide on which one you prefer, okay? Good. Can you think of any products that can be tested this way? Anybody? Can you think of any product that can be tested in this way? Say again. I think that can be a phones. Phones. 
All right, you compare them. All right, probably phones. Probably phones. All right, any other? Or yeah. headset. Phones. Yeah, headsets. Headsets. All right. Hey, do you know? Do you know about any products that uh, sometimes experts uh, experts uh, test? Like, uh, for example, <clears throat> professional people test. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, for example, uh, for example, musicians like uh, guitarists and, 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 and the other types of musicians, they test different uh, guitars, for example. They test one, they play it. And then they test the other, they play it, and they say like, oh, I go for this one. Do you know about any any professional who does that? Like probably a soccer player that uh, that goes under one brand or 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 uh, a musician or a cook, any other any professional. Do you know Do you know about any professional that does this type of testing? Any maybe with the developers, the programmers, uh, they test like PC computers and Apple computers. All right, good, good. So developers, maybe chefs. Chefs. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's that's true. Absolutely. So uh, what type of products do chefs uh, test? Pans, I think is the name of the, they, they test what you said? Pans? Pens, yeah. Pens. Yeah, they, they test pens and they test everything, you know, everything that's uh, related to cooking and they, mm -hmm they compare right they balance they compare which one is better all right so uh probably we can say that you know like professional equipment right phones headsets and the uh, other professional equipment okay great great well done guys very good. Hey, uh, let's take a, I'm going to take a screenshot of what we've done. And, uh, and uh, we will, I will share it. I will share it in the, in the WhatsApp group. So we can keep a record of the work we did during, uh, during this, during this, uh, long brainstorming session so let me just take a picture of it all right good so we can remember it okay let's uh, wrap this up so number one uh the first type of product testing is sight and handling okay sight and handling and uh please uh can you tell us what that is about uh Samuel, can you tell us what number one is about? What sight and handle and handling test is about? I don't understand this teacher. No, no, it's okay. Can you just read what sight and handle oh, okay. is about? Number okay. one. Okay, number this one. test is a good option. Mm -hmm. When there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product of, for cons consumers to experience. Experience, all right. Experience. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, this is a type of test that people do, that people do before selling a product. And uh, it's called sight and handling. Do you... Samuel, let me ask you, do you remember the five senses? Five senses. Do you know the five senses? Like sight, 
smell, taste, and uh, and the tact, tact, el tacto, right? So the side, the sight and handling is about visual and tactile information or 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 elements. You got it? Okay. All right. So here you can test. Uh, we we talked about this with Jonathan and and and, and the others. Uh, you can test probably beds through this, probably cars as well, because cars are very visual, right? If you see a, a, a car that's probably too boxy, un carro que es todo cuadradito, boxy, you go like, mmm, nah. Mini Cooper. Uh -huh. or, or, or you, you see that, that uh, oh, sign. Hey. Kia Soul. Uh, Kia Soul. Yeah, yes. a Kia, I have a Kia Soul, it, it, and it's it's a little boxy, but it's not so boxy. You know what? The one, the one that's really boxy is the Scion XB. That, like is, that is one boxy car. And I look at it and I go like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I prefer my, my Kia Soul. It's, yes, I know it's boxy, but it's good. Uh, X XB? Excuse me, X XB is yeah. the brand. Uh, sign or the, or the model, the model, sign. yeah. The model oh. is XB and the brand is Cyan. Cyan, I don't see. You, you, don't, you don't remember? Yeah, that's the boxiest car ever. But you know what? The, what's the boxiest car ever and it looks horrible? It's the Nissan, the Nissan Cube. Have yes. you seen that one? Yes, yes. Man, that's one hell of a horrible car. It looks like a Raspaello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a cute. For those who haven't seen it, I tell you that's a, that's one horrible. Inexpensive. Really? Yes, it's a, a small car, and I think it's a price ten thousand. Ten thousand. Or more, yes, yes. For that yes. horrible car? Really? Yes, yes. No, yes. I can't believe it. A friend have a, a one car. Mm -hmm. the, uh, it does, I don't know, or, or, or 11, I don't know. But the prices is similar. Mm -hmm. Wow, 10,000. Yes. And I prefer a Porsche Cayenne. Humildemente. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. the, the man is humble. Good, good. So cars. I, I drive. I drive uh, luxury cars. Really? Yeah. For your job? Uh, yes. Ah. For uh, for my last job. Okay. All right. So you, good. Some brands. Some brands. Okay. For luxury cars. Great, that's interesting. It's a great experience. Really? Yes. And uh, did you ever crash by accident? No. no? <laughs> Never in my life. I have I have twenty eight years for drive driving. Driver. Yeah. Driving. And never and never crash. All right. Good. Yes. So you're careful. You're a careful driver. Yes. And I like the speed. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. That can be a problem too. <laughs> like speed. Okay. Great. So if we see a man with a, with a luxury car running around, it, it might be Samuel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. So then uh, let's, uh, let's continue recapping. So use test. In, uh, uh, what, what's her name? Andrea, can you tell us what a use test is about? Andrea, can you read number? That'll be number two. Use, use test. test. Yes. Mm, consumers use the product in real circumstances. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Consumers take the product 
to be used either as a sample or for an extended period. For an as, as they could usually use it in their own home. Okay. Good, good. So they use it for an extended period and they take it to their own home. Like uh, the example Iris was giving us, she took an other control system home and tested it there. Hey guys, I have to run attendance. So, uh, so I guess uh, we are, let me just uh, stop sharing screen. All right, let's, uh, let's stop sharing screen and let's do this. It's now time to do it. So let's begin uh, with Jose. Jose Enrique de la O. Say present, present. please. Okay, thank you. Katia Maria Soriano de Santana, not here. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino, not in class today. Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernandez, not here today. All right, just making a little update here. And uh, Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Romulo, Romulo, Romulo. He's not in class today. Okay, great. Uh, it is Dorotea Figueroa Acevedo. It is? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're glad to have you back, it is. All right. Claudia, Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Present. Okay, is that you? Thank you. Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. Cesar Blanco Rugamas. No está. Omar Ingmer Gámez Linares. Tampoco está. Uh, Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present Thank you. Uh, Shane Sohar Deming Cabrera. Hasta ahora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Arabella Parada Gámez. Okay. Mario Enrique Marquez Celaya. Mario. Present. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Mario, you're being a little quiet. Hey, uh, Gloria Beatriz Orellana. Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegría Orellana. I think this is Beatriz. Yeah, she's not here today. Okay. Elias Samuel Orellana Perez. Present. Okay, great, thank you. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez Parada. Present teacher. Thank okay. you. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Aleida? Yeah, I think Aleida, well, Aleida was at the beginning here, so I'll mark it. All right. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejia. Present. Got you. Okay. Camila Calles Minero. Present. Got you. Okay. Where were we? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, brainstorming. Brainstorming, okay. yeah. All right, great. So just uh, let's, let's just uh, continue reviewing here. Uh, let's continue reviewing vocabulary. And uh, now, now guys, uh, there is uh, something else I wanted to show you about uh, about cost, uh, about uh, animal testing. Have you heard about that? Have you heard about that? Any idea about? Uh, the makeup. Okay, makeup, all right. Yes. And the, what have you heard about animal product testing? Um. Really, uh, I I I don't hurt too much, but and now the makeup said 
in 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 his um in the ticket or uh, etiqueta on the label sticker uh -huh, sticker yes mm -hmm. uh, uh no tasting in animals uh, all right not tested in animals okay yes uh-huh all right good good hey what else have you heard about animal product testing maybe medicine uh-huh oh medicine. right mm -hmm. medicine is also sometimes tested on animals okay back uh, vaccines yeah vaccine ba back. okay uh-huh i'm gonna put it here vaccines and you pronounce you pronounce back Vaccines. Vaccines. Yeah, vaccines. Vaccine. Yeah. Hey, there there is a there is a coronavirus vaccine from Russia. <laughs> yeah. And you know where they where who they tested it with? Do you know who they tested it on? In human? Yeah, I think so. And and what uh -huh. what kind of people? Do you remember? No. <laughs> No. no, you don't. They tested it on the on the soldiers. The ah. soldiers on their military. Like uh, China is is testing it too on their soldiers on on their army men too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if it works for them, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I think it's it's cool if they if it works for them. Yes. All right. Great. Very good. So, uh, yeah, we're going to watch a quick video about, uh, about product testing or cruelty free. All right. Cruelty free product testing. Okay. So, uh, we're going to look for, uh, we're going to watch, uh, a very short one. Okay. And, uh, then uh, share our uh, ideas about it. All right, so let's get ready. testing for cosmetics. It's still happening here. It's well hidden, but it's still happening. Thought it was a thing of the past? Think again. We're told it's necessary, unavoidable, for our own safety, but is it? Companies want us to look the other way because if we knew the truth, we'd get angry and we'd demand an end of animal testing for cosmetics. And that's exactly what we want you to help us do. Worldwide, nearly half a million rabbits and other animals are blinded, poisoned and killed each year to test new cosmetic products and their ingredients. All to make new and improved claims or to sell in countries that still require animal testing, like China. But the truth is that animal testing for cosmetics could be stopped immediately without any harm to consumers. There are already thousands of safe ingredients for companies to use, and modern, non-animal testing methods have been proven to be more predictive than last century's animal tests. Nearly 40 countries have already banned animal testing for cosmetics, including the whole of the European Union, with similar bans in development across the globe. The Bee Cruelty Free campaign, led by Humane Society International, is at the forefront of this global cruelty-free trend. Be Cruelty Free is the largest campaign in history to end animal testing for cosmetics. We have, through Humane Society International and our partners, campaigns on the ground in over a dozen major countries. These are the largest cosmetic manufacturing countries in the world. I think people have assumed that the problem doesn't exist or it's gone away. And the reality is the opposite. It's shocking to people. Americans and Canadians alike are strongly opposed to animal testing for cosmetics. 
we've had legislation pending for a number of years. It's time for our political leaders to get behind these bills and join us in ending cosmetic animal testing forever. There's a movement to end animal testing for cosmetics happening now. Join us. All right, good. So what is, uh, what was the video about? What was the video about in general? What's the main idea about it? Save the, excuse me, save the animals. All right, to save animals. Good, good. Prevent Please. the animal, animal testing of cosmetics. All right, so to prevent animal testing on uh, for, for cosmetics, right? What else do you remember, Jose? I think it's an invitation to, to buy only uh, the products with no animal testing. All right, good. Like How China, the Union Europea, I don't know what you say. Uh, UE, the European Union? No, EU, EU. So, okay. all right, they, they want people to buy only cruelty-free products, okay? That's how we call it, cruelty-free products. That means that uh, these are products that were not tested on animals, but they uh, found other ways to test it without hurting anybody, okay? Now, let me ask you this. Do you remember if alternative testing is better, is more effective than animal testing? Is alternative testing more um, more effective than animal testing what do you remember for anybody anybody do you remember which one is uh, better yes I, I remember, remember. I, I remember, uh, I remember. Uh, the it's more effective than animal testing. Okay, yeah. They use this word is more predictable. Predictable, okay? Is more predictable. So it's easier to see the results. All right. That's what they said about it. So it's easier to see the results in a, in a, in a, that type of testing. All right. Good. What do you, what is your opinion in general about uh, animal testing? Do you agree or disagree with it? Disagree. You disagree? Yeah. Well, how about you, uh, Camila? What do you think? Agree or disagree? I disagree because the animal is... Um... <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh they're living beings, right? Living beings, mm -hmm. and the human is not uh, do for for Dan Daniel. All right, harm, right? So humans must not harm other creatures, right? Mm -hmm. Good, good. All right. Those are good opinions about, about animal testing. Now, uh, <clears throat> you guys, we're going to do this just to review more vocabulary, more words about, uh, about, uh, about product testing and, and uh, the types of product testing. We are going to review, we're going to review uh, through uh, an activity. So 
do you remember in the last activity we brainstormed we brainstormed some products and in the in the ways to test them so i think uh what we're i took a picture of it but i'm i'm not quite sure if i sent it to you all right so what we are going to do is this you are going uh i'm gonna assign you a product and you decide and decide the way you test it as a group all right so in the list of products we have all of these we have uh for example it's here we have for example bleach air conditioning and uh, and many others okay so i'm gonna make a list here let's remember the products we listed for example we said uh bleach any other product that we mentioned please any other any shampoo other? all right shampoo. all right what was the other was it what? oh sodas all right sodas all right good especially cola any other any other product that we mentioned cars say again cars cars yeah cars okay cars what else cell phones cell phones okay cell phones all right cell phones any other appliance oh home yeah phones. home appliances good great home appliances okay great beer. say please beer all right beer. jonathan says beers and uh and anna lillian which one do you say again beds oh beds yeah beds absolutely food, food. yeah food headsets uh and uh and Indra, Indra says headsets as well yeah okay all right good so uh now we are going to do this we will work in small groups and uh i will give you i will assign you two products and uh, based on the on the on the product you decide the best way to test it okay so with your group you for example uh i mean for example i give you a, i i assign you uh for example a car or a cell phone or whatever and you say for the car we are going to test it through blind test or through uh sight and handle and you say because we need to drive the car and uh, we also look at the at the appearance so select a type of testing and explain why you selected that type of testing all right is it clear is it clear i assigned the product Okay, who assigns the product? Do you select it or I assign it? I do, okay, I select the product. Okay, I assign the product to, okay, to. And you think of the best way to test it. And after you decide, you explain why you use it, please, don't forget the vocabulary for testing products it's also it's in your manual and it's also in your whatsapp group all right so let's make uh let's make those groups let's make those groups Okay, here we go. There goes your invitation.
Or she <laughs> said the brand. Yes. All right, good. So I give you the product, right? Uh huh. Uh, I give you the product, and uh, well, I'll give you. No, I'll give you. If you are six, five people, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you three of them, in the in the you decide how to test them, okay? Because you are more people, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you cars, sodas, and uh, and I guess uh, let me see what else I have in here. And uh, body lotion, body lotion. So in your case, it's gonna be cars, soda, and body lotion. All right. Good. So that will be those are those will be yours. All right. I'll go back. So don't forget, cars, soda, and body lotion. All right. Good. Let I'll go check on the other group, okay? Good. Hey guys, all right, good. Now uh, let me assign your products, okay? So uh, we are going to work with. Um, we're gonna work with otter uh, otter system. Otter system, do you remember otter system? Like like this, otter system. And the number uh, started, uh, okay, mm, otter okay. system, oh. Okay. Yeah, all right, that will be uh, with otter system, also with, uh, let's see, I have also have uh, here, uh, beds, okay, Fair. beds, yeah beds and uh, shampoo all right so these are the three uh products that you decide how to test it okay so use the types of testing we reviewed and uh, give your opinions all right good okay all right so don't forget otter system, beds, and shampoo. I'll be right back with you later. Okay. All right, good. Okay, okay. No, <laughs> I don't who, think so. Who gave us a car for take us to us to our home? Yes, <laughs> yes. I think you started in public, eh? Yeah? Ah, sorry. Because it's more common to see the car, touch some parts of the car. Yes, yes. Drive, but only in a first. Um, uh, how do you say quadra? Block. Yes. Block. Block. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or two. Or, or two blocks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But mm. I don't know. No, for take take us. Two. Yes. No, take a home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> True. Mm. Okay. What yeah. we going to choose? Number two or number one? What do you think? For car? I yeah. think maybe branded test. Three. Branded test. Customers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better refers to the real world experience and the value of, of the brand. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's true. Too. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because when you know the brand of the car, you 
going to have uh, expectation about the, the result. Mm. Good point. Great point. <laughs> like it. All right, good. I'll go check on the other groups, okay? Great. Thank you. Keep going, guys. Keep going. That was a, a very good opinion. I use uh, no matter the, the brands and in defect, I don't know the brands. Mm -hmm. And brands, okay. uh, we have Indufon, Capri, uh, Mobilia, mm -hmm. uh, Simmons. Yeah, but, but if in my case, I the brands no matter because for Pep, I, I need a um, Oh, only the, the sense. Mm -hmm. And the clip. Sí, o sea, <laughs> she tested. She tested more. All right. I prefer I prefer uh, the bed with pillow top. Pillow top. Okay. So, pillow top. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's they're... very comfort. Yeah. Comfortable. Or to pet it. Mm-hmm. It's good for the body. Orthopedic beds. Yes. Jump yeah, they are. bed. It is. It is. Yeah, good. Those are really good examples, guys. All right, so... Uh, teacher, teacher, excuse me. Yes? Uh, uh, only two products or three products? I think I gave you three, didn't I? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay, I gave Let's you go three. with the shampoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shampoo. Yeah, good. good. All right, come yeah. on, Andrea. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. All right. Good. Uh, I'll go check on the others, all right? <laughs> I use the Whiskey shampoo. Really? <laughs> me too. Me too. When I was a kid, I used that. Everybody said that to me back in the days. When I was a kid, they said that. You use a shampoo de whiskey. They, they go like that. I don't know how to say shampoo in, uh, I mean, whiskey. I think it's the, the same name as the Mexicans call it, chayote. The Mexicans call it chayote. And I think and in English, they use the same word, this one. Coyote. Coyote. <laughs> yeah, the Mexicans call it that way, and and uh, the Americans call it the way the American the Mexicans call it, coyote. Okay. Yeah, it's funny, but I I got that too a lot because I couldn't comb my hair. No, no me peinaba. O sea, I spent hours using using combing my hair and using different types of gel. Vaseline and uh, whatever, nothing worked. Nothing worked. So I, I shaved my head because I couldn't comb. That's life. That's life. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Good. All right. You guys keep going. You right. You guys keep talking. I'll okay. get back to the other group. Okay. Okay. Um. Shampoo, uh, we have uh, checking on the other group. Shampoo, propiedades, and for that reason, buy. So you need buy first and try and use. You can find out your better shampoo. And after you don't change the brand, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, 
maybe we can use the payer comparison test it's, uh, in the shampoo uh, because uh, you need test the uh, how uh, como funciona? How, how it works right how it works in in your hair uh, like uh, another product all right okay uh, Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. All right, mm -hmm. that's good. That's good. Great. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the um, have a problem, you have to use. The bajo, Iris. Yeah, you, you sound a little low. Probably you could get closer to your microphone. Huh. Yeah, I my computer is, is far away from me. Oh, maybe okay. that's why. Um, no, I, I think in, in the shampoo, uh, it's difficult to try before to buy. You need buy and after try. In the secret set, if you have a trouble in the use, stop the use. That's the meaning, you buy for the shampoo. If it doesn't work for you, uh, it's less money. Mm -hmm. what, what, do you, what do you exactly mean? Um, for example, other products you can use first and take the decision. Yes. But in the shampoo case, you don't. Okay. You buy first and use mm -hmm. all right so what kind of test do you recommend for the shampoo it is um by the small presentation blind test the, the blind test blind test yeah blind test is is is, is good yeah the, you do the two the two shampoos and then you turn it around Okay, great. So you, you explain why you prefer a blind test when we get back. Uh, have you finished with all them three? Yes. yes. Yes? Okay. All right. Just practice a little bit. All right. I'll check on the other guys. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you. <laughs> La llamaron. Sí. No, a mí solo el correo me mandaron. Pero como yo de un solo lo guardo en agenda. Ay, no, Ay, si no se me olvida. Sí, si no se me olvida. That's okay. Don't worry. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, girls. Don't worry. Talk about the tonight and the um, the, the, the session. Yes. Yeah, yes. The session. You know what? Uh, yes, and we will we'll talk about it in a minute too because, uh, I mean. I think it's possible to to uh, to skip people. Like for example, if a person that didn't come today or is not there, we're not gonna wait for that person. I mean, well, I will not wait for that person. I will just go on with the next. Okay. So let me see who is whose turn is it today. I have a picture over here. Yes. Yeah, I had the picture here. Yes, it's here. So uh, today it was, uh, it's the 12th, right? It is Claudia, uh, Mary, and uh, Omar. Well, almost, uh, almost all of them are here, but Omar, I guess. So yeah, I will, we're gonna start with in breakout rooms individually. All right, good, good, very good. So yeah, you continue. I think it's time to go back to the main session. All right, let's return. All right, all right, very good. So I'm glad uh, everybody's back. Now we are going to 
share our uh, different ways of product testing and uh, let's begin with group number one okay so that is let me see all right that is uh anna lillian camilla claudia maria and uh, mario okay great please go ahead uh first product what is the first product you girls are testing cars cars okay and uh, how and why how are you testing it and why are you testing it that way side and handling test side and handling test why do you prefer side and handling test okay let mm -hmm. me a second <laughs> zoom zoom all right let's get closer mm -hmm. um because it's, uh, this is a test good option when there are significant tactile or visual element of the product customer to experience. And the experience with the cars. Yeah. Uh -huh, you see, you touch and you drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you see it, right? If it, the car is not appealing, don't drive it. Yes. And uh, what yes. if it's appealing, but it's uncomfortable? Yes, or, or small, or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I, I agree with you. I had a, a Hyundai accent in the past, and uh, it looked good, but in the inside, I didn't like that it was very small. I felt like it was very small inside. And the, mm -hmm. the roof and the, and everything felt very small. I didn't like it much because I I have four people or five people in there are like this <laughs> in a in a Hyundai accent. Yes. All right. Good. What's the other product, guys? Please tell us. So that. Sodas, okay, good. And uh, how are you testing sodas, please? A blind test. Blind, blind test. Blind test. Okay, great. Blind. Why? Because you, <laughs> it is because you can test the sodas. If you say soda, Everybody think a uh, uh, Coca Cola, Pepsi, and you can compare. You can compare, and sometimes the people say when they go to the market, give me a soda, Fanta. You know, because sometimes the people the soda is like Coca Cola, and the people is tending to compare all the time. That, okay. Yeah. That, uh, All right, yeah, probably internet is failing. But she she is right. People only think of Coca-Cola when you hear soda, right? Oh, uh, you want to drink soda? You immediately think of Coca-Cola. You don't think about an, any other. That's why Salvadorians go like, demo una coca de fresa, right? We say we say that, right? Or una coca de fan. Cola de champán. <laughs> yeah. Blue jeans negro. <laughs> yeah, blue jeans negro. That, that's a funny one too. <laughs> yeah, but you see how how uh, how uh, how important Brandon is because Coca Cola is so great that whenever you hear soda, Coca Cola comes to your mind. Yeah. Yes. Yes. True. True. All right. <laughs> So uh, that's how things happen, right? Very good, very good, guys. Uh, and the last product, please. What is it? And uh, body, body lotion. A body lotion. 
How are you testing the body uh, the body lotion? With the use test. Okay, use test. Why is it better? Because we we think the customers can can ex experiment the the product better if they they take the product to, to their homes. Correct. Yeah, uh, let now girls know more about this. Let me ask you, girls, do you see the effects of a body lotion immediately? No. No? No. So it, it we, we, we talk about that uh, the, this product is better if we, we use for extended period, like a month or like one one product or two products. After that, we can say this product is good or not. Okay, great. Or maybe we, we are allergic or something like that. Oh, okay. So, hey, the, that's a very wise, a very wise decision. So, it's based on, on, on experience and it's based on a, on a, uh, on a time, on time too. Like it, like it, very good, very good. So those are your three products. Okay, uh, I guess we can hear the other group as well. All right, guys, um, your three products products please uh, group number two what are your three products please our products was other system beds and shampoos okay great so how about uh well tell us about one please the first one the uh, other system we select the monadic method to test it okay can uh, just a second. Uh, you can use a product in real circumstance. Uh, like we can go to the to the company and we can install it in a bathroom and they can taste it the difference with the odor, like in the toilet, like in the environment. And after two weeks, we can went go uh, again and we can uh, ask for the, the, the service, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Very good, like it. All right, what's the other product you guys are, are testing? Uh, beds. Beds, okay, great. And uh, what type of testing are you doing on beds, please? In the commercial house is is correct mm, yeah yeah no but no my, my question is what type of testing ah what type uh, I, uh, in the group we testing uh, orthopedic beds um, with a pillow top okay. um, the basic beds in basic and beds. Base, basic beds mm -hmm. and, and some brands for example Mobilia, Capri, okay. Simons and others. All right and let me ask you are you going to see the brand in your test or not? Yes it's, it's basic uh, all right, so it's uh, it's uh, how do you call that type of testing? Do you remember how we call the the test where you see the brand? Yeah. How do you uh, call it? Brand branded test. Branded test. Branded test. All right, we call it branded. Mm. We call it branded test because you see the brand. Okay. Yes. So. All right, that's good, that's good. And uh, let's see, I have to run attendance before 
we check on your last product. So just checking on the ones who are not here. Okay, one more time. Let's see. So there'll be Romulo, not present. Omar isn't present either. And uh, Anna Lillian is here. So Shane, Shane Sohar, Demin Cabrera, not here. Arabella is here. Let me see. Arabella Parada Gomez is not here. Okay. Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegría Oriana tampoco está. Okay. Great. So, all right. Where were we, guys? Oh, yeah. The last, your last product. So, your last product, what is it, please? Anybody know? It is. Hi. Oh, Andrea. All right, Andrea. Okay, great. Uh, our product is shampoo. We prefer use blind tests because the consumer can know the quality of the product and decide to pay. Okay, all right, that's a, that's a very good explanation. So the test is based on quality, right? That is That is great because sometimes we are misled by the brand okay so we go like oh it's head and shoulders it, it's uh sedal it's good but probably it isn't so we have to test quality that's what we base our uh our uh, decision on hey i think this girl what, what's her name uh camilla yeah camilla is gone Okay, good. So those are those uh, were very good, uh, very good contributions. Now uh, let me ask you guys: Do you have any other questions about uh, about vocabulary or the types of testing? Like, what is the difference between this one and the other? I have a question. Yes, please. With the monadic uh, yeah. word. Yeah. Like, uh, do you, is your what question you about the meaning? Mm -hmm. or, right. Uh, all right, meaning, okay. Monad, uh, monadic is, is uh, related to proving or making operating, all right? Let me show you a definition here in the dictionary, all right? So you can look at it because it's, it's also hard for me to define it, to be honest. Um, sharing. So, uh, an invisible, impenetrable unit of substance, yeah. All right, also, it's about this, look, um, of an operator having only a single argument or place. Like, uh, and it has to do with this mainly, only a single argument or place. So it, it's about making the, 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 the product work and having only one opinion later, rate it afterwards, okay? It's about waiting to test things later. All right. It's like the opposite of focus group. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you you have only one argument, all right? Having only a single single argument place, all right? That's regarding math, all right? But in a in a let's say in a nutshell, I believe is more about having only one argument or only one opinion. I also searched for it here in philosophy, simple entities such as an atom. So it's about that. It's about having one opinion about it. And you can also do 
the other I think is sequence monadic in which you do one monadic test and then do the other one. Okay. I don't know why they decided on this name. It's funny. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, any other? Ouch. Any other question? Any other question about vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. Uh, you can share share us. Yes. Uh, the link. Uh, the from the dictionary. From the dictionary. Yes. Uh huh. The yes. Use. Use yeah, it. okay. I have uh, this one here. It's called uh, I I see the the free dictionary. Free dictionary, yeah. Free diction. Free dictionary by Farflex. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one is good. Okay. I use I personally use three dictionaries for vocabulary. I use okay. uh, the Word reference is my favorite, but not for technical, uh, not for technical vocabulary, you know, for general English, como para inglés general, yo prefiero utilizar este que se llama el word reference. Pero también eh, este Farflex, eh, como se llama, Free Dictionary, es bastante bueno, pero... Este se utiliza más que todo para vocabulario como técnico. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese sí también lo recomiendo bastante, pero el uso es más que todo para, para eso, para vocabulario técnico de especialidades y cosas así. Y también eh, este, el free dictionary, el dictionary.com, dictionary.com. Uh, dictionary Es buenísimo también. Es casi y la misma funcionalidad de Word Reference. Y, y es bastante bueno. Creo que los tres, si no me equivoco, los tres también tienen su propia aplicación para Android. No sé si para iOS también. Así que también los pueden descargar y son bastante prácticos para tenerlos. Así que ahí se, lo, ahí se los puse. Ok. Um, how many of you have completed the platform? ¿Quiénes ya com comenzaron a completar la plataforma? Have you? Not yet? Okay, yeah, we better... All right, yeah, we better start... Uh, we better start soon. It's important that we do that, all right? So, you take your time. Take your time to, to complete your, your platform as well, all right? Great, great. Very good, guys. Uh, so now let me ask you just to wrap things up para terminar. What new words did you learn in uh, this session? Please share them here in the chat. What new words you learned in this session? This session is about, uh, is about vocabulary. So Let's see if we learned something new, some new vocabulary. So if you learned something new, okay. Appliances, vaccines, all right, good. We have a peeling, all right. Otter systems, yeah, good. Very good, yeah, it's working, I'm glad. I'm glad it's working, all right. SWAT, yeah, uh, it's backwards, I guess, SWAT. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. All right, good, good. Anything else? Anything new? Bleach. Yes. Bleach. All right. Good, good. And the last kind of vocabulary game we're doing is this. Now, you are going to ask one of your classmates if he or she remembers your vocabulary item. Like, for example, uh, for example, uh, Mario asks somebody else what appealing is. So Mario, for example, asks Iris, what is appealing? And Iris has to explain. All right, let's see if it works. So let's begin. Yeah, let's begin with Mario. Mario, ask anybody about appealing. Okay. Um, 
Jose, what a feelings means. I remember is like uh, attractive. It's similar like attractive. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Now let's have uh let's have uh Jonathan ask about his word, please. Ask anybody, Jonathan. The uh, color systems. The I I learned to is, is um Hey boy, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say, don't say. You you ask somebody. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Uh, to Mario, maybe. All right. To Mario. Okay. okay. Great. All right. And other season I, re I remember is uh, something like color instance. Mm. Is it okay, guys? Or uh, who wants to help? Who wants to help here? What is an other uh, system? Something that you you no the service you install at in your bathroom. Okay. For control the the odors. All right, good to control the bad smell. Okay. Yeah, hopefully it works. Okay, hopefully it works to control it. All right, that's okay. Good. Uh, Let's see, Claudia, now it's your turn. You ask somebody else, please. I choose one. Yeah, you choose a classmate. Mm, 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 Maria. All right, good. Good. And uh, ask your question. What? What the... means free trial? What does uh, what, mm -hmm. what does mm -hmm. the mean what? of free free trial? Mm -hmm. Free trial. Mm, let me see. <laughs> um no, I don't know. So <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. Don't remember no. what free trial is. All right. And, and uh, I remember that. Yes, please, please. But samples only. All right. Yeah, uh, give samples. It's okay. Netflix and, and others. I don't remember the others. Only Netflix. Mm -hmm. Like Netflix. Like YouTube. Yes, and uh, in, in what way is Netflix a free trial, uh, Samuel? Or in I what don't ways? remember. Uh, you don't remember exactly. Anybody yeah. else? What is uh, a It's kind of uh, like a period when you can use a product all right. uh, free without, you don't need to pay to use it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, the, about like the, it's a premium and it's Spotify, I think. Okay. And yeah, and Spotify too, right? They go, usalo por un mes sin pagar. Escucha la música sin anuncios. And and yet you listen to the to the ads. Okay. Yeah, YouTube as well. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, YouTube Premium. Yes. All right. All right, good, very good. Those are very good examples, guys. So uh, let's stop right here, okay? We stop right here. I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, only the people who have to stay today for the next uh, session are, one second, yeah. The people who have to stay today are Maria, I guess, yes, Maria, Iris, Claudia, Maria Belen, and Cesar, and Omar. All right, so you guys stay, okay? Goodbye, everyone, and you have a good night, okay? Yes, see you tomorrow. All right, uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, tomorrow. Good night, tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Rejoin, see you tomorrow. okay? Goodbye.